Hello students, I am Dr. Tanmoy Vishrash. I welcome you all in my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecule. So today we will discuss a multiple choice questions which you can see in, on your screen that what is the product of this reaction. Okay, these two are reacting under this temperature what is the major product of this reaction. So four options are provided in front of you. You have to find out what is the right answer. As usual, I such first suggested you please pause the video and try by yourself and write your answer in the comment box because it will be helpful for me to understand what is the what is your understanding level and you will you can also check self evaluation no need to be ashamed of uh, the fact maybe that my answer may be right or wrong no need to ashamed whatever you have you have and i believe it's my personal opinion we should always know the our strength and weakness because these two information is very uh, important for our personal growth okay so this is so definitely after some time i shall explain the answer of this question i believe you have tried by yourself so let me answer the question before going to details i want to request you please watch the video completely until the end because if you skip and go you may miss some explanation and believe me explanation is more important then ex explanation is more important than information we, that's that's i try to follow in my lecture okay so as usual my mm, discussion i first prefer to give you idea about the nature of the reagent because it is difficult for you to remember what is what will be the product but if you understand the properties of molecules then you can predict and your predict is expected to be correct if your understanding about the properties of molecule is right okay and you must be very careful or you must look at the reaction condition properly such that you can understand what is the condition because condition to condition reactivity changes so that is also important so let's discuss see this molecule this derivative this molecule has two type of reactivity one contains a nitrogen attached to benzene ring directly and another thing it's a benzene ring so for this nitrogen it can act as a base and for this benzene ring attached to nitrogen it can act as a good new means this nitrogen can act as a base and nucleophile and it can act as a substrate substrate for aromatic electrophilic substitution by the way, I have uploaded many reaction reactions about aromatic electrolytic substitution. I request you please visit those videos if you feel you it will be better for your means if you feel you need more knowledge about this. And this reagent, this is actually a 1,3 dihalo compound. In one side, this is bromine, and once this is chlorine. So, what property? It can act as a it can act as a living group means bromine or chlorine whatever and it, it can participate in reaction that is a is better to say friedel craft alkylation reaction okay and another thing look at very carefully high temperature is given so what normally we can't get what reactivity property we can have this under this high temperature okay now another interesting point you must be careful about the stability and reactivity of the bond see which one is more stable carbon chlorine bond or carbon bromine bond point number one and which can act as a good living group better living group by the way i have already uploaded lectures about nature of the living group in nucleophilic substitution reaction you may visit if you want to know the phenomena in details okay let's go to the mechanism this knowledge based on the knowledge we have just discussed we can think that two options possible one is nucleophilic attack another is aromatic liquid substitution but nucleophilic attack generally is faster than aromatic electrophilic substitution and in this case you can see there is a bromine which is a relatively better living group so what we can expect that it will attack here and this bromine will leave so what it will result this plus another molecule of hbr okay one and see this is a very high temperature so we can expect during the temperature such acids may not remain bonded with this nitrogen or maybe it it could be go out of the reaction mixture or it may be on the wall of the vessel where reaction we are carrying out okay so don't be confused why this nitrogen is free because of high temperature there may be a equilibrium between the hbr 
bounded attack versus the free okay so this much we have understood this is uh, this step is actually this step is actually nucleophilic substitution reaction nucleophilic substitution reaction step one okay in next step what is happening next step see this is actually aromatic electrophilic substitution so this is the step two okay and in this case you have to look at very carefully two interesting phenomena see this nucleus after reaction also it is also a electron rich and this is actually a activating nucleus this is activating for or towards aromatic electrophilic substitution why because the lone pair of nitrogen which is involved in the resonance and it can increase the electron density in the ortho and para position let me draw at least one chemical form for your better understanding so what it will do it can push the lone pair here and just let's draw an another chemical form it will be easier for you to understand means this is so one two three one two three whenever you draw such kind of thing please follow this numbering strategy because majority of time we make mistake because of poor counting okay so this now see that this nitrogen is electron rich so it it is expected to increase the electron density in the ortho para position means if we draw that thing what it should look like see this is the nitrogen so it can push here and it will come here so the negative charge is here this and nitrogen is expected to have this positive charge now so this means the electron density in the ring is getting increased okay so electron density increased so increases so what is the consequence it is activated towards AES and it undergo a intramolecular cyclization reaction intramolecular slice cyclization reaction to produce an intermediate or better to say the sigma complex so let's draw the sigma complex so the sigma complex is expected to be the positive charge you can consider here this 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 is the hydrogen and this okay so it's actually a six member ring why six member see this is a three carbon and this is one two three the ortho position so it's a six member in the positive charge which is resonance stabilized by the nitrogen uh, lone pair we are i'm not showing here so this and next step what happens this proton this proton is abstracted and it goes there and what is the driving force driving force is aromaticity so driving force is aromaticity okay this now you can consider this who can abstract this proton there is a chance that the lone pair this lone pair of nitrogen can also part means another molecules of nitrogen's lone pair can participate the abstraction of this proton because it's quite basic and see the reaction condition is very drastic very high temperature so what we generally believe should happen or not may not be true for this case okay so that is the reason and another interesting thing we know for aromatic electrophilic substitution actually how this is happening so for aromatic electrophilic substitution we need a lewis acid also okay for this reaction but in this case in absence of any lewis acid reaction occurs because nitrogen increases the electron density at this carbon consequently these electron density can attack here this is not quite obvious or generally observed but just consider so two point just consider one is high temperature okay point one and second point which makes this process favor is intramolecular okay so these two points make this thing possible such that in absence of any lewis acid this reaction happened which is not generally observed okay so we have learned the mechanism so what is our answer our answer is that the product we will get is this one
okay so i believe actually this question may be a little easier as well as tricky and another thing you may just consider that sir this is fine that uh, nitrogen alkylation we have understood up to up to this why not para substitution okay this is because intramolecular reactions are always favor than intermolecular one that's why para substitution in mean substitution at this center after alkylation is not possible okay or polyhalogenation is also not possible because another molecule comes and react with this in this way it can make a linear polymer type so it will not occur okay so this is the end of this discussion uh, i believe okay so let me give you the conclusion sorry uh, this is the, the conclusion is the nucleophilic attack by the nitrogen lone pair is faster than a yes generally i will say generally and aniline is activating substrate for aromatic electrolytic substitution and that is the reason why in absence of any lewis acid reaction can occur okay and why aniline is activated have explained there an intramolecular reaction is always favored over intramolecular one and the last point is aes aromatic electrolytic substitution can occur at higher temperature in absence of lewis acid because the reactivity of molecule increases when you increase the time okay so this is the end of our discussion today's discussion i thank you for watching this lecture if you really like my teaching please like the video and write your opinion in the comment box such that i can improvise my effort and most importantly if you get benefited from my lecture please share this with your friends such that they can also enjoy the benefit and most importantly if you think it's worthy then subscribe my channel chemistry the mystery of molecule and please press the bell icon such that you will be notified whenever i upload a new video so thank you again stay happy stay blessed see you in my next video